Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Aaron Yao. I work as a risk analyst for an investment bank in New York City. And this is a day in my life. Working from home, that is. So my day typically begins at 7 a.m. And my first task of the day is to not wake up my girlfriend. Okay, well done. Still pretty much half asleep, I start my morning routine, which consists of me getting dressed, brushing my teeth, washing my face, and more recently, I've been trying to build a habit of drinking a glass of water every morning. I'm not exactly sure where I heard it from, I think it was from an Instagram influencer, but he said it was good for you, and he drives a Ferrari, so I'm not gonna question it. Then I go to my desk and boot up my desktop computer and my MacBook. The first thing I do after logging on every morning is I check my emails, just to see if there's anything I missed from the previous night after I logged off. I do a brief scan before it's time to tune into my first meeting of the day, which starts at 7.30. This first meeting of the day is a pretty big one. It's with our entire asset classes trading floor and the different teams give a brief recap of the previous day, as well as share their thoughts and plans for the current day. Things like what deals they're focusing on and where they think the market's going. After the meeting, I'll take a break. The sun's finally up at this point, so I open up the blinds and let some natural light in. I'll also take this time to make some coffee. I've never been much of a coffee drinker in the past, but per my girlfriend's suggestion, we decided to get a Keurig machine after we moved into our apartment. And ever since then, it's been super easy to make delicious coffee. And I gotta say, this machine has come in clutch. Not so much in the days where I work from home, but more so in the days when I have to wake up at 5am in the morning to go into the office. And having quick access to coffee in those days is a lifesaver. Speaking of my girlfriend, she's up now as well and she's making herself a matcha latte. So I thought I'd show the process just in case you guys are curious. She also made some scrambled eggs, but since she's also working from home today, she had to go back to work. And so today, I'll be eating breakfast alone at my desk. After breakfast, it's time to do some more work. Typically in the mornings, I do more of what's called BAU tasks. Now I didn't know what this acronym stood for when I first started working, but you're likely to come across it in the corporate world, and it stands for business as usual. For me, this includes responding to emails, checking the accuracy on some data, or helping with requests that other people might have. My job as an analyst also involves using a lot of Excel spreadsheets to crunch data and collate them into reports or presentations that get sent out to some of the other teams I work with, as well as senior managers. Doing BAU tasks can sometimes get repetitive, but my job as a risk analyst also involves doing research on the markets or on certain products in order to identify new risks, and this is often the more interesting and fun parts of my job. Today, I'm also giving a brief market update and commentary, as well as describing some changes in risk during a meeting, which you'll be seeing me do now. After that meeting's done, it's pretty much time for lunch. I usually alternate week to week between some sort of meal prepped meal, like a burrito bowl or a sandwich. This week, I'm doing a sandwich, so I'm making myself a ham and salami sandwich, and I also have some leftover fries from the previous night that I'm heating up in the toaster oven. A pretty solid meal overall. Now, my girlfriend and I's lunch schedules didn't quite match up, so today I'm eating lunch alone at my desk once again. But that's okay, because this is my chance to watch some YouTube videos. I usually try to watch something educational, like interviews or videos on stocks that I'm planning on investing in. I've also recently been enjoying Ali Abdal's channel for his videos on productivity, business, and life in general. Or, if my favorite poker vlogger Brad Owen posted a video that day, I'll probably watch that. After lunch, I tune into another call, and for the rest of the afternoon, I'm pretty much just working on some long-term projects or presentations. All right, so I was actually pretty occupied for most of the afternoon. I was working on this Excel spreadsheet uh, that took up a few hours, and now it is closing in on the end of the day. If nothing else requires my attention, I usually get off work at around 6 p.m. If I was in the office, I'd be taking the train at this time. Since I'm at home, I can just sign off and go have dinner or go to the gym which is really convenient. But there is one last thing that I need to do, which is an end of the day report. So I'll be working on the report now and I'll see you in a bit. All right, so now that I sent out the report, I'm gonna go have dinner. 
My girlfriend and I both didn't feel like cooking dinner today, so we're having a nice simple meal consisting of another sandwich and some fresh vegetables. We actually typically never eat a meal like this. We usually will try to cook some sort of hot dish like pasta, stir fry, grilled chicken, and roast vegetables. We like to keep the menu diverse. I actually don't remember the last time we had a sandwich for dinner. After dinner, I'm headed to the gym. I usually try to get to the gym before dinner, but this particular night, my girlfriend was hungry and she wanted to eat as soon as possible. So, what can you do? Not gonna lie, that was a pretty tough workout. Did a lot of upper body today. I actually wasn't able to go to the gym yesterday, so it's always tough getting back into the groove of things after a day off. But now I'm going to reward myself for that hard work by making a protein shake. So first, I'm gonna add some banana. Uh, I have a chocolate flavored protein powder, so I find that banana typically works best flavor-wise. Next, I'm gonna just add a few ice cubes just to cool the shake down. Next, obviously the most important ingredient, the protein powder. I have the Optimum Nutrition Extreme Milk Chocolate. It's pretty good, uh, sufficiently sweet. And then I'm just gonna top it off with some oat milk. I know this probably isn't the most traditional protein shake, but you know, you gotta be resourceful. You gotta make do with what you find in the kitchen, you know? I'm not gonna lie, this shake is actually really good. Something about the chocolate banana combo is just, it fits. If you use protein powder, next time you're at Costco, look for the Optimum Nutrition Extreme Milk Chocolate Protein Powder. I guarantee you will not regret it. After I drink my shake and take a shower, I pretty much use the rest of my night to work on YouTube, whether it's planning my next video, scripting, or editing. I'll also use this time to work on other personal projects I have going on, but right now, working on this channel is my main priority. And once it gets to be about 10.30 p.m., sometimes later, I'll wrap it up for the day. I get ready for bed and do the last non-negotiable task of the day, reading. I actually used to go on my phone and watch YouTube videos before bed, but I found that reading is a better way to calm me down and I felt that I've had an easier time falling asleep ever since I picked up this habit. I'm currently reading Ray Dalio's book, Principles, and reading books like this before bed also helped to prepare and frame my mindset in a positive direction for the following day. So there you have it, that was a day in my life. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, be sure to leave a like and a comment below. It would really help support the channel. Also, be sure to subscribe. Hope to see you next time.